Hello everyone. Good day. This is Tanmay. So, in the previous video, you might have seen Tridip and Joe dropping me to the airport. So, I did travel from Bangalore to Guwahati. I reached today. And uh, it was quite a comfortable and safe journey and you might just have to follow the protocols accordingly. Just check the website regularly if you're planning to travel for the latest protocols and updated information and also I would advise to call up the um, specific vendor which you are choosing if, or if you need any specific information but most of the updated information is in the website okay uh, so having said that I would just like to um, point out few basic questions which even I had and I got the answers while traveling this time Okay, the first thing is that you need to get the Arogya Setu app installed in your phone. The second thing is the web check-in. The printout is very important and I would suggest to keep a printout rather than a screenshot along with a government ID proof. The security personnel are wearing a kind of like a face shield themselves. So you don't have to worry much because uh, although you have to remove your mask to confirm identity, it is not a face-to-face -face communication because there is a shield in front of you. Okay. And of course, the protocols and regulations uh, differ from airport to airport, but you know most of the protocols are same. Uh, once you enter the airport, you have to get your own baggage tag printed. Uh, you know you use the kiosk which you uh, which you use to print your web check-in tag so till here you know you will get help from the ground staff wherever and whenever required and they do maintain social distancing while helping you the second thing is uh, once you have uh, given the luggage into the counter the next thing is the security check-in my security check-in was done. There are only two places where you have to open your mask. Uh, one place near the security check-in where you have to just show your face. Once you are in, the ground staff will provide you with a kit which contains a set of sanitizer, um, mask and a face shield if you don't have it. They will anyway provide. Okay. And uh, the people who are, uh, are, are, are assigned the middle seats, they have to wear a kind of like a half PPE kit which is given by the aircraft uh, ground staff and it is mandatory, you have to wear it. Fortunately, I was, uh, you know, I chose the first seat, 1D, which was the aisle seat. So I was, you know, I, I was the first to deport the plane, okay. Now after the, uh, after the boarding, I went to collect my luggage which was well sanitized I mean my suitcase was uh, well covered with uh, that uh, sanitizer spirit okay so once I got the luggage the next thing I mean uh, it's specific for Guwahati airport it might be the same protocol which will be used in other places as well now after you reach the airport you are divided based on the region or the different state or the district where you are traveling there are different counters you have to go to your specific counter. For me, I was traveling to Guwahati. So I went to the district, the Kamrup district uh, counter and I went there. They asked me to fill up a form which contains few details like uh, where are you coming from, the address, where are you going to, the address, the, uh, the zonal police station which uh, you know kind of like monitors your area you should know all these details okay if you don't know please uh, you know gather the information before you travel and also your uh, your ward number so i was able to finish and finish filling up the form quickly submit it to the counter they gave me a, a pass to get out of the airport from there it is like you know a pathway is being created you cannot breach that you have to follow that and then a government vehicle will take you to the covid testing center the testing center where you will be asked to give a swab test you will be asked to submit another form at the 
uh, testing center regarding your uh, from where you're traveling uh, if you had any history or uh, then uh, where you're traveling to and it's better to give your accurate address now uh, after you have uh, uh, submitted the form you will be asked to go to a screening center where uh, the first of all uh, they will um, self they will register you uh, in the in the government website covid 19 cc.nic.in where they will capture all your information you will receive an otp in your phone because all the further communications will be done through uh, you know uh, some self generated messages you will receive an otp regarding your uh, srf id that is like you know the id creation once uh, they have registered everything your details sample collection part so in that um, you will be asked to move to a counter where uh, you know uh, there uh, the nurses I mean the one good thing was that she changed her gloves for each patient which is obviously expected then uh, she took a swab test from uh, both the nose strills and from the throat which is a little uncomfortable but it's like one time so after you have given the specimens they will ask you to wait for some time now um, the place where I waited was actually uh, indoor stadium so it was uh, spread out and uh, there was a lot of distance between uh, people who were sitting so the arrangement was done very well in Guwahati although you have to wait for some time for the results to come out so after the results came out I mean they announced that you know uh, these passengers are tested negative please proceed towards the exit hooray that's what my test came negative and then I proceeded towards the exit now at the exit there is one last formality which is they will give you a stamp yeah it's like that it's just the uh, type of uh, stamp which uh, they uh, mark when you are entering a bar or something. So here it is mentioned, you know, it's mentioned uh, till when I should be quarantined. And after that, you can just come out and uh, if you have any personal vehicle, who, uh, whoever is coming to pick you up or uh, you can board a taxi and go home. That's all. So um, I hope this information was useful for you. So please. Uh, maintain uh, all the protocols and you know safety and uh, stay safe that's all